It's Doug. What's the farthest away you've ever talked to someone? I don't mean like yelling across the playground. I mean like on a phone. Maybe you have a family member or a friend who lives far away. Maybe someone who lives even in another country. You could call them on a cell phone. You can even talk to them on video chat, like FaceTime or Skype. When I was a kid growing up in the 1980s, iPads hadn't been invented. Even cell phones weren't really a thing yet. Almost nobody had cell phones, and if you did, they were really big, like this. And they definitely didn't have video chat. If you could go back in time and show people an iPad back then, they would have been amazed. And if you could show people video chat, they would have been like, wow, something from the future. That's incredible. Back when I was a kid, I had a great grandmother who lived too far away from me in order to walk to her house. So if I wanted to talk to her, I had to call her up on the telephone. No video, just our voices. But when my great grandmother was a kid, almost nobody even had telephones then. Telephones had just been invented when she was a kid and they were really expensive. If my great grandmother wanted to talk to any of her family who lived far away, well, she couldn't. The best she could do was to send them a written message, like a letter. Today, we're all so used to being able to call up anyone, no matter how far away they are. But every device we use to talk to people, whether it's a cell phone or an iPad or even the kind of phone I had when I was a kid, all of these things had to be invented. People didn't always have these things. Imagine if you lived way, way back in time, before there were telephones, before there were even letters or mail. How would you talk to or communicate with someone who lived far away? What would you do? Well, the simplest idea might be to just try yelling, hey, but that only works for so far. And then imagine if everyone around you was doing that too, that would get loud. Now, you might say, well, you could just invent a telephone. But telephones worked using electricity, something that hadn't been discovered yet. So what could you do? Think about it. We could even make this a little simpler. Instead of using sound to send a message, what if you used light to send a message? Like, let's say you wanted to send a very simple message, a simple yes or no, to a friend of yours who lived down the block from you. How could you use light to do that? 